dog. We should have caught up with that red ape. They camped here last night, Martha. We'll catch up with them tomorrow, all right? I hope so. Children, 
the little prayer that I taught you. It's our only prayer, children, and no one else has one just like it. Now then, if I should die before the night, if I should die before the night, I ask our Lord, I ask our Lord, I ask our Lord, with all my might, with all my might, to take my soul, to take my soul, and keep it fast, keep it fast, until I see his face at last. I think I'll keep them. I'll hit the horses. Clear the wagon. Get off the trail. Find anything to eat with? No, Mom. Not even a foot track. I guess he. No, Clint. Asa isn't dead. Perhaps it'd be better for him if he was with your paw. Come on, Ma. The long way back to St. Joe. We'll get there, somehow. Ah, ah, good morning, gents. Permit me to offer you a prospectus of our new patent, high-pressure, hollow ground, seal and grave, rigid frame, ball bearing windmill. Each one guaranteed... Mrs. Knox. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Has the stage arrived yet? I'm expecting my father. Not yet. Now allow me to offer you a catalog. Has that bunch of stock arrived from the rain? I'm looking for my son. Not yet. Now allow me to offer you a catalog. Here comes the stage now. Get out of the way, boy. Move back. Move back. Mr. Christman, well, glad to have you back. How are you? Still going strong, I see. Hey, yes, sir, right. <laughs> you know what? It's hello, honey. Oh, hello, Father. It's so good to have you home again. We came to meet you with the buggy. Oh, did you? Hello, Mark. Oh. Oh, where's Clint? We'll be here at any minute now. Uh, uh, what's the news for the East, Mr. Christman? What about the California mail? Well, boys, it's decided. The Pony Express is going through. Wow. We've got to get the mail to California and get it there fast. Uh, how are you going to do it? My firm, Majors, Waddell, and Russell, are going to give this service. We're going to get the mail from St. Joe to Sacramento in less than 10 days. 10 days? Why, you can't do that. It's, it's going to be done. 
Howdy, sir. I'm a reporter from the Missouri State Democrat. Would you mind giving me some details of your enterprise? Well, to begin with, we're going to call this service the Pony Express. The Pony, Pony Express? Express? Well, that's a good name to qualify. There'll be 190 stations spread across the country. We'll need 80 of the keenest and hardest riding men in the West for its riders, and 500 of the best-blooded American horses for its riding stock. And Say, here comes some of your stock now, Mr. Christman. <laughs> And Mary, doggone, you look great. You look great yourself. Mm -mm. Sweet Applejack right out of the barrel, by quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Christman. Hello, Clint. Hey, did you get what you went after in Washington? Yes, Clint. The press is going through. I want to talk to you about that. Right. I'd like to be the first to volunteer. <laughs> but print up that bunch of broom tails of yours and get them in the Oval and Corrals before they kick this town to pieces. <laughs> I guess you're right at that. So you work on the Missouri State Democrat. Do you know a fellow that works on that paper for the name of mine? You wouldn't let Clint join the Pony Express. Oh, why not? Why, because... Well, just because. <laughs> well, that depends on whatever you and Martha say about that, honey. But I'm going to need men like Clint. Don't you, Mary? You know I do. Yes, I guess I do. I loved his father. That is going to be dangerous. I don't like the idea of Clint going. No, Mary. We women of the West are not afraid. Where our men go, we follow. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Well, come now and help me do the shopping, and we'll have a very special dinner for your father and Clint tonight. Now, my good people, the time has come when boats are going without sails. The time will come when wagons will go without horses, and when machines will skim through the air like birds. And in the meantime, what you need is bigger and better windmills. Hey, I bought one of your windmills and it wouldn't work. Well, I guaranteed it to work on the Swanee River. Now, you take it back there and if it don't work, you'll get your money back. Just a minute, young man. Uh, can I interest you in one of our new windmills? <laughs> if I needed one, I'd just hire you and put you in a field and let you spout hot air. Now, see here, young man. Take your paw off of my shoulder. And don't ever do that again unless you want to find out what a period means. Here, hold this. If I thought he meant that, he means he punctuates his words with bullets. When the pay for a Pony Express rider isn't high. It's $50 to $100 a month and found, depending on the danger of the route. Well, I'm asking for the hardest relay. What's your name? Ace Carter. How old are you? Well, I'm over 21, I reckon. Where are you from? Our Kansas country, around Fort Smith. Carry any credentials? Yeah, these. May I? <laughs> Your 
were quite handy with your six guns. Well, I really didn't try. <laughs> what do you call that? Well, that's called the border roll. I sort of figured a man riding the Pony Express, six is full would be a good hand to draw to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see. Of course, I didn't count the Indians. Well, I don't know. I've just about decided that I've been insulted. I'm a man of peace, but when I get my dander up, I'm a rook tail roller from Colorado Canyon. I'm a diamond back with ten rattles and a button. I'm a Gila monster, a two-tailed scorpion, a tarantula, all rolled up into one. I'm a curly wolf, and when I howl, wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. Oh, wait a minute, don't shoot, don't shoot. Clint. Fella just went in there and... If I didn't have a tooth and iron in that, I'd run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna percolate him. Hey, Wendy, throw it at him. You'll do better. <laughs> There's that South Pass running to Cheyenne. That's the one I'd like to have. That's the most dangerous stretch of country on the route. Why do you want that particular run? That's a man's job, and the rider will have to take a man's chances. That South Pass country is yours. It is? I'd like to have a man on that relay I know a little more about. You may be a good rider, you may be handy with a gun. In fact, you might be just a little too quick on the trigger. Listen, Mr. Christmas. I don't know anything about you except what you've told me. 